Oh, man, John Morant, they won't give my boy a break. They won't give my boy a motherfucking break, man, I'm telling you. So Stephen A. Smith is claiming that <laughs> John Morant might be dead in five years. That's a little bit of a stretch. That's a stretch. He do need to change his ways. He, he needs to stop acting like he fucking John Wick. But they must have found something so crazy in that fucking phone that like, yo, yo. But who knows? I mean, can the NBA do that? I mean, I guess they can. Can they go through his personal phone and like try to find like that? Like, I don't know. That's crazy. I mean, Adam Silver, he did say that the NBA, they do do an investigation on these guys before they draft them because you're representing a brand in the NBA. But like I said, he wouldn't have to deal with all of this shit if you just stop showing guns on Instagram. God, yo, it's getting to the point where niggas don't even see John Morant as a basketball player. They're looking at this nigga as a fucking hoodlum. But this is what Stephen A. had to sp- This is what Stephen A. Smith had to say. Silver feels betrayed. Adam Silver feels like John Hold on. body allegedly. There are certain things that we can speak on, and there are certain things we can't. Okay. What we can speak on is the fact that um, the incidences that he has found himself in, getting into a fight with a high schooler, allegedly coming out. Allegedly. We don't know about that out of his house with a gun to confront the high schooler um having a friend of his in in his company and they had an issue with some indiana Pacers personnel and mm-hmm. they saw some lead red laser dot pointing at somebody there was, allegedly there was another incident in the club there was stuff in the strip club with him waving a gun and then there's another one where he's on instagram live and one of his friends put him on instagram live and you know again you see him waving a gun stuff like that um Adam Silver feels betrayed. Adam Silver feels... And another thing, his rookie rookie of the year, rookie of the year, I promise, I'm, I'm a huge basketball fan. This fucking chair is... Fuck. I'm a huge basketball fan. I've been following John Morant since he was in Murray State. He was not acting like this. Even his rookie year, he was not acting like this. When he won rookie of the year, he was not acting like this. When he got drafted, he was not acting like this. If you look at his old videos, they got his videos of him and his pops. They working out together. They training and all that other stuff. His dad is very, very close to him in his life. He chirped a little bit when he went up against opponents, but that's just basketball. That's about that's that's nothing. This street this street persona, it got it, yo, bro. It's not you, my nigga. It's not you, my nigga. It's not. It was like John Moran looked him in the face, told him one thing and did another. And all I could tell, all I could say to John Moran is that he is very lucky that Adam Silver is the commissioner of the NBA and not the late great. Ooh, if it was David Stern, that boy would be playing in fucking Afghanistan. David Stern. Because had it been David Stern, it wouldn't have been just an eight game suspension of first go round. It would have been much different than that. And had it been David Stern, we might be looking at lawsuits and all of this other stuff because David Stern would have tried to turn around and suspend him for the entire season next year. That's yeah, how David yeah, Stern... David Stern don't fuck around with that shit. I, shit, when Ron Artest did what he did, I think David Stern was still the commissioner. I'm surprised they they brought that motherfucker back on board. That nigga, yo, bro, that... I mean, it wasn't Ron Artest's fault because a fan threw a drink at him, but that nigga, he got blackballed, and it cost him a lot of fucking money. A lot of money. He bounced back from that shit, though, so I'm pretty sure John Morant, he can too, but change the fuck up. Tighten up, nigga. Rose, and you know I'm telling the truth about that, Rich Eisen. Mm-hmm. In the case of Adam Silver, I don't suspect he'll go that far. Um, I don't think it'll be the entire season, of course. I don't think it'll even be half the season. I anticipate it'll be <coughs> 25 games. Hmm. Um, and still a lot of games, though. That's a lot of games to be missed. It was 25 something around or along those lines to send a message to try to provide a deterrent for other players uh, to engage in similar behavior. But there are other things, like I said, we can't speak of in terms of John Moran's behavior off the court. Some of the things that he finds himself engaged in uh, with the company that he keeps, uh, with the establishments that he, he visits. Things of that nature, um, and obviously he feels compelled pretty much all the time to have a gun around him, and so that brings in the question: 
all of those things that I just mentioned that, again, I'm not at liberty to speak on, but I can tell you this. I'm from the streets of New York City, and a lot of players I know are from the streets, period. Mm. And I can tell you that people within the NBA community are not just concerned about John Morant playing basketball. They're concerned about whether or not he's going to be alive in five years because of the environment. Fuck, what the John Moran ain't got no fucking ops? Unless you're talking about the people around him and, and they trying to extort him or like well, John Moran ain't got no fucking ops. That nigga, bro, John Moran is Carlton Banks with a 40 inch vertical. That nigga is not <laughs> that nigga is not pushing up on niggas like that. Mints that he finds himself around and the situations he finds himself confronted by. It's a serious matter, and it's something that I think that the NBA and everybody um, that knows anything about the kind of things that are going on with him find themselves concerned about. Wow. Uh, uh, that That's a jaw-dropper, Stephen A., I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, that... I'm just, I'm just telling you what I always tell you. I tell you the truth as I know it. I know. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day. Now that's wild. I don't. I think John Morant need to chill the fuck out because if he pull that gun out and it go off, his career is done. But as far as him not being alive in five years, let's 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 dial it back. Let's dial it back. Let's dial it back. Chill, relax, calm down. But he must know that the punishment that he about to get after the finals is about to be fucking gruesome, because he deleted his Instagram. So, we'll see. We'll see. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Ja, tighten the fuck up, my nigga.